If M-U-L-Y spells muley, what does J-U-L-Y spell? All right, folks, welcome back to the show once more. Good to see you back here again. I always dig it when you come back and we do these horrid things that we do here at the house. It never sleeps. The glue set up, well, this glue has. I got a J-45 Gibson over there, or a J-200 Gibson over there. I'm gluing the neck back on. It's not set up yet. That's a whole other thing. I can't show you that. Uh, this looks better than I thought, but it's, you still, you're going to be able to see that crack. Uh, if I had some dust from this wood right here, or this, you know, I could probably fill that in and make it look a lot less apparent than what it looks right now. I'll get you and bring you over here and show you before we get started on it and explain to you what we're going to do on this video. We're going to grind that plug away. That's what we're going to do. And cue balls here, and I can't love you, baby, right now. So uh, I'm going to get you. Bring you over here and show you what's happening and what we got to do. What lies ahead. Hold on. All right, here we are. That's what the old timers used to say, wasn't it? Anywhere you go, there you are. <laughs> so we got to grind this plug away. What's sticking out, grind it down with this surface and match this curvature. And I'll try to get you a close-up shot here. I can, I can barely feel that. But like I say, if I had some dust from this wood or fretboard I don't know man maybe I'll get into some dust here and can feel those those tiny openings if nothing else if if nothing else I'm gonna put uh, more glue in there and just fill that up there I think you can see it that was the way the guitar arrived here and then there again we have the fret the crack in the fretboard between strings three and four, I think you can see it there. I'm thinking about putting thin CA glue on that and let it run down in there, but I'm worried it'll glue the truss rod because that stuff gets in, man. I mean, it'll, it'll get, probably go in there and then, you know maybe clamp it too. But uh, I can feel that with my fingernail, just barely can, but I can feel it. I'm going to be deciding that as I chip away at this. Now, I may, I'm may. i going to start with a Dremel tool and get it worked down. I may take a chisel when I get down close and start chiseling away pieces of it so I don't mar up the guitar head sock. So let's, uh, let me gather up my Dremel pieces and let's get started. I was thinking about taking one of these little it's a little old cutting disc maybe cut the end of it off but man that the curvature comes right up I don't know, I think it would be a head to use something like this with a sander, sandpaper. I've already touched on it and it cut right into it really fast, so I don't think it's going to take very long. But I'm going to go ahead and start. i got the, the neck just clamped. It's not tight, but it's tight enough to, you know, hold itself there. So I'm going to hold the dust extraction invention I got up here, or up here, rather. You don't want to breathe that stuff. And I'm going to start with this and just see, and get, get down, make a little bit of progress, and I'm going to stop. And uh, I'm going to have to get down and look at that under here and watch it very close. So let's get on with it and see what happens. See if the camera's running. Yes, it is. Headphone lovers, I'm going to love this video. I'm 
off here and uh, think about some way maybe to mount this up here or over on this other side that, that probably would be best and uh, I'll bring you back I just got to gather a few thoughts it's a very small collection it won't take long and I'll bring you right back now I'm down here in the floor where I can see and uh, put a little tape on for some backup in case I get too close to that thing so let's give it a shot <laughs> close there now I think I think I'm gonna maybe go with the chisel from here and yeah, we'll see how it goes anyway so hold on I'll bring you back as soon as I get up out of the floor <laughs> hold on well this is gonna be a slow process here I've got a brand newly newly sharpened chisel it's not a new chisel but it's newly sharpened and it's doing the job and a little bit, cut a little bit away at a time, and then we'll go with some sandpaper and start working it down where we want it at. Well, this thing is short, man. Wow. That's working. It's going to take some time. I won't hold you here for this whole process because I know you got better things to do. I'll just show you how I'm doing it. Hey, it is working fine, man. Yes. Working very good. Taking it off a layer at a time. And we're getting very close right there, so I'm gonna start pulling up on the end of the chisel as I work. Outward. I might have to go with a smaller chisel. AC's working overtime, folks. Sorry for that. Just want to say to headphone lovers, you're going to love this video. It's lots of noise in it. AC's, vacuum, power tools. It's all going on here at the house, and even tools that's not powered tonight. Nothing new about that here, though. Let me get that end of that plug off. Then we can switch to sand and paper. I'll bring you back once I've achieved that. We're almost there. See you in a few. Well, you can see here how close I'm getting, man. Right down almost to the guitar now. And I've got to really pay attention to what I'm doing right here. I do not want to touch the guitar. Now we can go a little bit more on this side. And then switch to sandpaper. Man, I wish I had some dust to fill that those cracks with. You'd still be able to see them, but not nearly like you can see them right now. There we go. Don't go any deeper than that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the sandpaper. I just want to show you how close we was getting there. Sandpaper time. Suck the hole off. Woo! 
Look at your ball. Boy, I really shot myself in the foot on this job, man. No one's fault but my own. I gave the guy, quoted the guy a price for fixing this for 85 bucks. You know, I didn't realize a whole bunch of that old plug was still down in there, for one thing. Uh, well, I didn't realize that at all. I figured to make one video, you know, putting the plug in, uh, putting a new adjusting head in, putting a new plug in, and then doing this to it. But, you know, sometimes you do this kind of work, you got to bite the bullet every now and then. I'm not complaining. Like I say, it wasn't his fault. It was my fault. I was the one that should have been more up on my game. I just got the tape in there. This is 600 grit paper. It's pretty rough. This is walnut, by the way. Not that hard of wood, really. I'm glad it's not rosewood. Anyways, got 600 grit paper on here now. We are getting very close. I just put the tape on it. You got to sand down to the paper starts to hit the tape, and then I'm going to switch to a, probably an 800 grit or maybe even a thousand. Remove the tape and go at it with that. We'll see. <laughs> It's almost hitting the tape now. This eraser has a, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a beveled end on it. Yeah, I think you can see it. And I'm using that to my advantage. Anything, anything you can use to your advantage, use it. Especially in this kind of stuff, this kind of work. Tape's protecting the guitar from this. Uh, this is a fairly rough grid. It's not real rough. Well, it's pretty rough. Sure, taking that walnut down in a hurry. Yes, sir. It's looking mighty fine, man. Work on this side a little bit and that very end. We're almost there. I'll bring you back when we go to. Uh, Probably 800 grit. I, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe a thousand. I'll see what it looks like after I take the tape off. Cue balls here. Tell them, cue balls. Say, we love you. Tell them, we love you. Tell them. They want to hear you. What? What? I love you. Woo! I love you. Boogity ball. Good. What? What? Good girl! <laughs> We're going to suck the hole off again, folks. What do you think? Ooh. Yeah! Oh, it's so good. Alright, i got a thousand grit here now. I'm just going to hit the whole guitar. You can still feel it a little bit. I know you should have went a little bit more with that higher grit, but yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, this sandpaper's I might have to might have to get a new piece. This is war right where I need it at. When I need it the most. Well, that's biting in, I can hear it. Just smooth him over a little bit. Let me try to place on this paper here. It's just got one tiny little place on the end of it. I'm going to have to get a whole new piece, I think. That side right there is the only place I can... There, yeah, that's doing it. I still want to get a new piece of paper, I think. We'll see. Be careful what you quote. If you do this kind of work, you quote a job for someone, look at uh, everything good <laughs> first before you make any calls. And don't sell yourself short. I can get a little bit on the end here, maybe. Yeah, it's working, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yes, sir. Might be able to do it with this piece. One thousand rich paper. I can still just barely, barely feel that. <laughs> to it. Now that's biting in. It was. You get just a little bit more off the bottom now. Yeah. Yes yeah, sir. Just a little bit more off that bottom. We'll wrap this up. And I won't bore you with all this. And I'll bring you back when we get there. We'll have a closer look. I'm going. Having fun yet? And lastly, a little bit of miracle salve. I'll just tape that up so none of the miracle salve would get in the hole. A little semi chrome. Just to lightly rub the scratches away that the thousand grit pa paper may have left. You ever put semi chrome on your hole or around it? <laughs> it looks good. If it still if it works, it'll, it'll be good, I think. I'm still going to drop some more. Uh, uh, there's a little opening right there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. I'm going to drop some wood glue into that just to fill that gap and seal the thing off as much as possible. tape came off. It's okay. That's all the polish I'm putting on it. Yeah, you can't even feel that, man. You can't even feel it now. So, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to take a little bit of this Smith Pro formula polish and shine the entire headstock up with that. Here's what it looks like. Now you can't see it up that close. Here's what the bottle looks like. Best polish I found for guitar. Susanna, thank you again. Susanna's the one that told me about it. And uh, now that's my second bottle of this stuff. I'm telling you what, man. It will put a shine on rust. the stuff's got in it but like some of y'all said it's not only not only good it smells good too you know I see some funky marks up in here maybe the whole maybe the entire stock head has head stock wow heat's working on me again maybe the entire head stock's just the way they finished it it looks like sandpaper marks are going this way, up and down. I, I never noticed that before because it wasn't this clean and shiny before. I didn't even sand up in here. So, whatever it is, it's factory. And there you go. I'll get you and bring you over here and show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. Well, here's what it looked like. Man, I just wish I had the right dust to mix up with CA glue and fill that up. I'm just going to, you can see, I think you can see there's a little opening there. Yeah. And uh, that looks like it's sticking up, but it, you cannot feel anything whatsoever. Nothing. I can't even feel it this way. If I get you a, a shot across here, maybe you can see that there's nothing sticking up across here. It's, it looks like it's sticking up from up here, but it's not. Riley, it's not. But that little hole in the very center of your screen, that little tiny bit of a crack, I'm going to fill that with wood glue at least. And uh, I don't think I don't think I'm going to put CA glue into this crack here. I, you know, if it sees up the truss rod adjustment, man, that'd just be horrible. Everything would be lost. And I don't think I'll have any more trouble with that. Anyways, let's check it now and see if it works. We should still have 
uh, backward bow in the neck from the last video if you watched that video and if you haven't I suggest you go back and check it out and we do have we have back bow 330 seconds a little loosen the rod it's fairly tight too it's loose now we well, got forward bow in it now Don't have any back bow, that's for sure. Oh man, I can never find anything when I need it. A quick, cheap way to check for forward bow, lay the straight, straight edge on. See if you can stick a paper. Yeah, see there? That's about as far as it'll go. Uh, hopefully, you can see that. We do have forward bow. Alright, let's tighten it back up. Just make absolute sure. So see that biflex truss rod system, when I loosen that adjusting head, it goes up against that plug of wood we put in there, it's glued in. The head goes up against it, shoves pressure on it, and forces relief into the neck. That's the way that works. They try to make it like a, a two-way adjustable rod. Now that should be about straight. Yeah, check for relief again. Shouldn't have any now. And look at that. We don't. Okay. It's a done deal. That's what it looks like under this light. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to put another drop of glue in that. And call it. Show it to you one more time. Under that light. There it is. With this puppy in the mail. It's going to go 2,500 miles back to its original owner. I polished the whole headstock up there. It was kind of had a lot of prints and crap on it from me working there. Uh, hope somebody got something out. Oh, I played the thing for you, man, but it's a, a half air guitar, so I can't do it. But uh, I want to make mention. I get a lot of questions about things, many, 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 many things that I already have up on this channel. Uh, I highly would recommend you go. To the front channel page of this channel there's a search button there click that search your needs I'll probably already have a video up of it because I can't answer all the, the messages and the uh, questions I get asked I just can't do it man I swear I'm gonna have to hire a secretary I think anyways thanks for watching folks cheers to you if you ever tackle a biflex truss rod system hopefully this will help you I hope it helps you and I hope all my videos help you if they have thumbed this video up uh, that helped me, so I appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks for watching.